today we are starting our little going to all the museums we can possibly fit in four days <laughs> tour. We got our little four day museum passes and we're going to start at the Louvre. I decided to grab a little bit of lunch before we started going to the Louvre. So we got some quiche Lorraine, salad, chocolate tart, and some orangina that we are sharing. Because food at the Louvre is a little bit expensive. And this is just the cutest thing ever. A little tiny bottle of vinaigrette. Because I'm a dork and I like tiny little things like that. craziness around the Mona Lisa. So, I didn't even know this picture existed. This is a picture of the Tunis in Pomona, which was my first, one of my first roles in college. Here's the thing, when you're in the room, don't forget to look up. We're trapped in ancient Egypt and we can't get out. <laughs> We're having potatoes for dinner. We got one called the Nordic. So it has salmon and then their little traditional like sour cream sauce. Mike has you know what that is? Ham in it. Ham? We got some gun ham. Looks good. Finally got onto the light train to Versailles. And we've got a little polar mirrors action going on on the roof. And behind us we have accordion music to make our trip more enjoyable. And in the middle of the suburbs, boom, a cast. We are taking a walk in the gardens of Versailles. The line to get inside is crazy. We don't know if we can bypass it with our museum pass. So we're just taking a walk in the garden right now. Pretty awesome. I also love that people are just kind of stepping right over the little fence right near where it says keep off the grass. And everybody's just chilling on the grass. We took a walk down the gardens and ended up at Marie Antoinette's house which we can get into with our museum pass. And it is so much more chill than Versailles. There aren't as many people. You can actually look around and don't feel like you're herded left and right into rooms. <laughs> Just a nice little backyard. If I was wrong before, that right there is Marie Antoinette's house, which we just went through. And there's this little temple of love in the backyard, which is kind of cool. This is all pretty cool. And there's some fish. And Mike in my shadow. We have a cat facing off with a swan. We've got stocking stands. And it seems the swan won. So this is a bit of a bummer at Versailles. The big gigantic like tower fountain is completely torn apart at the moment and they're putting in I think it looks like they're putting in hydraulics they put up this little look we're restoring it so you can read about it instead of see it thing which you know is great that they're fixing it but kind of a bummer for us because we don't get to see it good morning so remember when I mentioned how we had beautiful weather the entire time we were here it's all rainy and crappy now and it looks like it's going to be that way for the rest of our trip Hey, <laughs> but right now we are 
in line at the uh, orangery, L'Orangerie, L'Orangerie, uh, to see the water lilies really quick um, and probably walk through the museum. It closes before the other one. We are going to go to what Musée d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay. My mind went blank for a second um, later today. So hopefully we'll be able to get in pretty soon. We just finished going to the L'Orangerie. It was a nice little chill museum. There aren't as many people that go and you can actually look at the pictures <laughs> and the photographs and enjoy them. And now we are walking over to the Musée d'Orsay, right? Musée d'Orsay. Musée d'Orsay, I keep thinking I'm saying it wrong. And praying we don't get rained on. This is why this thing is worth it. This is our line. That's the other one. We're at the Musée d'Orsay, but I can't really take pictures or anything once I'm inside. I'm inside, but not inside, inside. We're upstairs right now, and there's just this really cool picture of the Sakrika through the, the clock. So I'm going to turn it around real quick. Isn't that neat? Through the clock. Stopped for a snacky. This is supposed to be a snacky. <laughs> a place called Galette Cafe. And we have massive crepes slash galettes and drinks. And Mike has got like some wonderful bacon creation. And I have bananas and chocolate. So now we will eat it because it looks good. It's expensive. This is pretty damn good. <laughs> I was just saying, I think this might be the best thing we've had so far. At least that I've had. Yeah. I had it's a really piece good. of his and it's it's an orgasm in your mouth. <laughs> and mine is pretty darn close. We are at the Pont des Arts, which is the bridge where couples lock locks onto it and you're supposed to throw the key into the Seine and it's supposed to mean that your love will last until you unlock the lock. <laughs> and Mike and I did bring a lock. We have it at the apartment. We're we were planning on doing this later, um, but we were near it, so we thought we'd come by and just kind of look at it and see if there is going to be a spot to lock our lock, and it's going to be very difficult, but we will find it. There's ice. <laughs> we're at a little restaurant kind of in our neighborhood called Chez Paul, and it's quite bustling with a lot of people and we'll see how food it has arrived. Super l'agnon cap. I got some steak. As you can tell by my empty bowl, that so far has been the trip winner of the super l'agnon tasting. Oh yeah, this looks good. Mike is going to do the honors.